that allows <laughs> them to like get 30% of their energy from that or something. Um, yeah. I, oh, so Trump recently said, if you want to take care of ISIS, remember, this is a guy who's going to be great at the military. Um, his new plan is to, he's like, the, ISIS, the people in ISIS don't care if they die. So what you got to do is kill their families. And uh, I try to, to look at that rationally. Like, because there's a part of me that is like, look, if you really want to wipe things out, the last time we won a war, we bombed cities. Like w w World War II I'm talking about. Like, you know, they, Tokyo, they just set that whole freaking thing on fire. You think no innocent people were hurt in that? You know, that that was all a military strike? No, man. That was just... We firebombed cities. We, in the, I mean, they make an effort when they do that to, like, look at the weather patterns to make sure the winds are going to be right to start a wild uh, a fire in the city that'll burn everything up. The, the bombs are, are, just, are sort of... The bombs set things off, but the, the firestorm that, that was created afterwards is the real goal of a lot of those fire bombings. So it, and it was Germany and, and, uh, and Japan received the, the same. So we've done it before, and it's worked. I mean, we unequivocally won that war, and then we didn't have like tons of German and Japanese like insurgency attacks afterwards. But somehow I feel like doing that in the Middle East isn't a winning strategy. No. The Trump's like, idea of killing what, the fat. Like, at what point do you stop? Like, is it, oh, we kill the immediate family, and then the extended family gets a ton of people who now have a hair up their ass about, you know, maybe these ISIS people are right. Like, these are a bunch of fuckers. Like, what are we even talking about? Assassinating yeah. their families? Like, like, like if we yeah, can't find the these guys out in the desert, how are we going to find their Uncle Larry and take him out? Like, uh, in or are they talking head, about bombing I, their homelands I, it, that are unaffiliated I, with the war? My personal leap was drone attacks. Like, yeah, you know, we'll take out it's with drones at like the house level like you know this guy left this house now he's in isis all right well we know his home address so we'll go get that Can house you imagine how many new terrorists would pop up even if it wasn't their family where they're like oh the marie <clears throat> or whatever like were killed down there they were just hanging out like their son was a bit of a ruffian but you know the rest of them were just people and like just doing yeah, their that's... thing trying to live like and then that would uh, i guess radicalize if that's the word we're using now yeah, yeah, yeah. so many people yeah like, that, that, that's that, an that's awful just, idea Trump. that's just not practical for one thing because it's like we don't know who a lot of these guys are period much much less who their families are okay and and the ones that we do know we do know where their families are and i'm sure they've probably already fucked with their families and questioned them and found out everything they could know couldn't even killing dude in california killing isn't going to do anything and the real thing you should know here is that we've been killing their families for years that's why they hate us. That's why there is an ISIS, because we killed their fucking families. That's why they don't mind dying for their cause, because we killed their fucking families. Well, that, that's, he's an idiot. Trump. Trump's I just I apply it to me. If you kill my daughter, I mean, the, I would join a rebel force. Sure, yeah. You know? They, you know, they, some of those drone attacks you hear about taking out a whole wedding in Pakistan here, and I've heard about it multiple occasions. Like, you would think that, like, there would only be one accidental U.S. drone attack that killed a whole wedding party, right? No, there's like a, there's like a handful of them. Like we're always taking out the whole wedding party. Well, you who can that. tell the difference between a wedding and a terrorist training camp, anyway? I know they both have <laughs> catering. <laughs> you know, they look singing. the same. I don't know what the uh, what an Islamic wedding is, is like. You know, I, I've seen like a, a Jewish wedding. Well, they like... stop by the kindergarten, pick up the bride. Okay. <laughs> as you do <laughs> rough her up a little as you do rough, 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 rough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she resists uh, or anything I think I they have think sex that, and then you happened. take the, the soiled blood sheets and show them to everyone or is that Game of Thrones That's, <laughs> that I might be that Game, might of be Thrones. Game of Thrones <laughs> yeah, just beyond horrific but like, I, I want to say that, culture does, that, does that that doesn't happen with like just normal like the overwhelming majority of just peaceful Muslims, right? Like, they, they marry people their own age. That's my understanding. Like, not their own age, like a couple years younger or something, but, like, it's only those super extreme, like, those actual radicals who are marrying, like, children still, right? Like, I know people I in the U.S. don't do that, but... I don't think I'm educated well enough on the topic to say for sure, but I would, say that, I would say that the child uh, marriage game doesn't doesn't, uh, doesn't necessarily mean the person is, is, is a terrorist or anything, and vice versa. I bet there's a lot, but but I feel like there's a lot of child fucking that goes on over there, and uh, and this seems like a great excuse when your religion excuses it. 
That could be. Nine years old and they're old enough to marry. That was like the same extremists who like acted on those like hmm. like I'm sure there's people from both camps in there. There could be, yeah. It just seems like that's I don't know, the culture is so different over there, but I can't imagine like a middle of the road Muslim being like, Oh yeah, I'm forty one, about to get married, she's eight. Like <laughs> there's just no way. Like I there's no fucking way that's common. Like that's like literally unbelievable. If you get her at eight, like, like, what do you wait a few years? Like, what do you do? Like, like, it's so horrible. That is horrific. What if you're an eight-year-old that's get married, gets married off? Like, what are you thinking? Like, I, I, in a culture like that, ooh. do you have some more wives that you can have sex with while she's on the bench? You wait for her I to think turn so. older. I, I think, yeah, you got a harem, right? Like, yeah. That might be the way to go. Yeah. You could have some up. It, it, see, that's like uh, what do they call it in baseball when you got uh, minor got, leagues. Yeah, the the trip yeah. of farm league. You got your farm team. Far, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the farm team down there. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, like mm-hmm. eight year old, twelve year old stuff like that. Yeah, they're up and coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that they're was gonna be good. They're gonna be good players in a year or two. Oh, this is gross. <laughs> we yeah, we used to do that on the lifeguard stand. I'm sure I've told this before, but like like so, girls would walk down the beach. That was a thing. They'd always walking down. So you'd see them from like. 300 feet away and you'd be like "Ooh, she's hot and then she comes by and you realize she's hot but she's like 15 or something so we had an imaginary farm league like ah we'll put her there we'll let her mature three years later she'll come back she'll be ready for the majors was, was... the farm league like some sort of alley behind the <laughs> it was just just was there a lot of fake drowning in the farm league just talk <laughs> no it was just talk. just like still yeah. you'll be fine you're having an out of water do- <laughs> drowning. <laughs> <laughs> so awful. Uh, 